Hi, so today I'm going to talk to you about working with columns in Word. So here I have an open document with some text on it and to simply demonstrate how to turn the entire document into columns I simply go up to the layout tab and I go down to the columns tab here and select the amount of columns that I want to put in my document. So I'm going to select two. As you can see, the whole document now is converted into two columns. If you just wanted to select a portion of your document, then simply highlight the section you wish to turn into columns. Again, go up to columns, click on the amount of columns that you want, and it will turn that section into columns. Within these sections or selections, you can format your text. So currently it's set to the left indent. If I wanted to center this text, then I'd simply go up to the center text icon here and it will center my text within my two columns. If I decided that when I converted my whole document into columns, my columns were actually a little bit too narrow and I actually wanted to decrease the margins between my columns, I can simply go up to the margin section up here and I can simply click on narrow and this will reduce my margins and increase the amount of words I can get on each page. Um, if you find that you really want to adapt it um, to your particular document, you can simply go up to custom margins. And when I click on custom margins, a dialog box will appear and I can simply um, choose whatever um, measurements I need. You obviously have to play around with this if you're trying to be quite specific. Um, and just put it in the left and right uh, dialog boxes, click OK, and again that will move your text to suit your particular document. So just to demonstrate, if I was to turn this particular section here into two columns, and if I highlight some text, I'm going to turn this text red for demonstration purposes, I'm going to then copy it and turn it back black. So it's just to demonstrate, if I was to continue typing in this section here, it would actually continue to type in this single column here. However, if I was to continue typing in the two column section, it will continue to extend the two different columns that you've made. If you do begin to type and realise actually I've done all that work and I don't really want to go back, you can simply highlight the two columns, go back up to the column icon, change it back to one single column, then move the section that you want to, sorry, move the section that you want to keep as one column, re-highlight the other column to turn it into two separate columns. You can turn any section of your document into columns and in addition you can also change the colour of your columns. So if you had a section that you wanted to highlight um, to draw the attention to it, if you simply go up to this shading icon here on the home tab and simply click on a colour of your choice, it will highlight the sections and the columns that you want to draw attention to. I hope that's been a useful tutorial and has helped you. If you do like it, please subscribe and have a great day.